Okay, here we are. Another beautiful day of trash picking. Wow. I would buy that chair if it was brand new, but I don't want like somebody's old chair that they sat on for years. It's definitely a cool looking chair though. But what we're doing now, cutting vacuum cleaner cords as usual. That's not exactly a vacuum cleaner some kind of Hoover thing. Damn. It's the Hoover Dam. All right. I seem to have upended these people's Hoover. That's not the kind of guy I am. So let's put the tank back in the thing. All nice and good and clean. My goodness. All right. That goes in there, then this goes in here. There you go. That was a lot of effort for two cords. And we still haven't even cut the plugs off them yet. You gotta cut the plugs, otherwise you'd just be sitting there doing it forever. And as far as the dehumidifiers go, I don't usually cut cords off of those. I don't know why. See, we're starting with a clean slate, metaphorically. I mean, it's filthy in there, but. My car, it's running kind of rough. I think it needs a tune up. We haven't even gotten like, all the way down the road yet and already. Look what we got. It's a rusty hatchet. I think I need a glove. Hmm. Here's my left glove. Can I put that on one-handed? Wow, it's taking forever. All right. You're gloved up. We got, actually we got a couple of hatchets aren't showing up too well against those white bags but look oh. we soak them in WD-40 for like a month might be able to use them how you doing today pretty good a couple more saw blades and uh, what do you think, we want the golf balls? Nah. There you go. It's the first street, the first five minutes, and we already seem to have a scrap load going. So I guess that's a good sign. You're not gonna believe what I just saw. Look at this. Trunk don't wanna stay open, cause I'm on a hill. Look at this. It's all copper pipe. And I'm kind of in a panic right now because there are a lot of other pickers out. And the pickers in this town, some of them, they'd probably literally like start grabbing out of this pile as I'm grabbing it. Hashtag not all. But. Hey, thanks, man. You want to just toss it in the trunk? Were you the guy who picked up the condenser, too? No. Oh, yeah. Some other lucky stiff must have done that. <laughs> I can, uh, I'll bend this one up. Okay. Thanks so much, no man. Problem. Appreciate it. Wow. That was a nice guy right there. Who just gave me another big piece of pipe. We put on the pipe bender. So. 
10 minutes into the route and look what we got. Yeah, it's, it's really nice when it goes this way, like when you get a trunk load of good stuff right at the beginning of the day, because then you can kind of relax for the rest of the day. So now let's relax and go trash picking. All right, let's check out this faucet, see if it's worth, worth the old smashy smashy. Yeah, it is. It's like, some, it's like a nice old brass faucet. And I'm not trying to get that out of there. So what we'll do is what we do. Take it over here, put it in the trunk. So it's like out of harm's way. And then you get your Peter Gabriel and just wow that's making a mess even inside the trunk it's making a mess all right close your eyes I mean I'll close my eyes Wow. That is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, that was ridiculous. All right, so now I guess we can put these sink parts back. Where we got them. And we can put them back in this box right here. So nobody gets hurt you know that's nice and neat tidy up this but I mean that was an ugly one really and that's why when you do this stuff you don't do it on the side of the road because I mean, look how much effort that took that would have been a huge huge mess look at that chunks shards and I can vacuum that up pretty easily at home but it would have been a real mess in their grass so that's how you do it and right here at the neighbor's house this thing looks nice big battery jump pack am I zoomed all the way out yep I really need a wider angle lens I think everything else here is just basically junk babies toys and stuff Like, is that a car that we want to keep? Nah. Plastic train set. And that dude. So we'll just put this in the trunk. The only thing with breaking up those sinks is once the trunk is full, can't really do it anymore. It looks like our trunk is likely to be full within... I don't know, a couple of hours. You never know. We started really strong, but over the last hour or so, I've experienced what's called a lull. And I just drove by this box and I didn't notice. Look what's in this box. Some blow molds. They're upside down blow molds, but I don't think that makes them any more or less valuable. But let's see. Are they broken? Yeah. That's awful sad. I probably shouldn't break it anymore, huh? You ever see a blow mold with jewels on it, too? That's probably worth a bun bunch of money. How about this one? He looks like he's in better shape. Yeah, he's more robust. And then this one. Do we get lucky here? Yeah, so I guess we got the two wise men that are in good shape and the third wise man that uh, his brains fell out of the back of his head. What do you think these things are worth? Like 
50 bucks each or something. Hmm. Wise men don't fit through the back window. I will tell you this. I have not ever seen these particular blow molds, so maybe they're rare and valuable. Who knows? It's been almost exactly an hour since I found the uh, the two wise men. Haven't gotten out of the car since then. It's pretty crazy, huh? But see, this town is divided into like two distinct areas. And technically I'm in the wrong area right now. Like the other area is where all the real junk piles are supposed to be today. But I just like this area better. What the? How is this? How is this happening to me? All right. So what I'm hoping is that I'm going to find stuff in this nice, scenic, pleasant area. But the reality is that I'm not finding much of anything. But look at this thing. I'm assuming this is like some kind of post hole digger. Let's get a better look at it though out here on the bike rack. That's crazy. And it's got like this mount on it. Maybe it went on a tractor. See, there's our scrap load from, I'm gonna say like from two hours ago. This thing we got, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. So that's pretty sad. I love these things. Look at that, look at that label. All right, nobody ever buys these, but I'm gonna take it just in case. And what else do we have? A big piece of styrofoam, a bunch of Bondex, patching cement. Ooh, this is cool. That's super cool. <laughs> super broken. All right. So maybe we don't take that. I don't know, I, I think you can fix that. The super siphon? What the heck? All right. I think I just showed you the address label on top of the super siphon. Oops. And you know what? This thing's all bent up. We're not going to take that. And you know what? We're also not going to take the super siphon. Yeah, I'm taking a stand against the super siphon. What's in here? Nothing. But yeah, we did get our magical big egg beater thing. That's pretty friggin' crazy, isn't it? We're in a nice-ish neighborhood, and in nice-ish neighborhoods sometimes Sometimes the brass headboards are actually brass. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's brass. And uh, I feel like taking these apart and getting them in the car. They're not super heavy. They're kind of lightweight. But what do you say? 10 pounds of brass a piece? Probably. There's also this really cool pedal tractor. Which I will probably take unless someone else comes along who wants it more than I do. But for now, I think the important thing is to get these big side pieces off. So you just unscrew these little things. And I won't bore you with all those details. Hold on a second. Now the one thing about these things is they have a lot of little bits and pieces that come off. So you don't want those going all over the street. People get mad about that. So I already got the one bar off. 
and I'm trying to do this as neatly as possible. I panicked just now because another picker came along and I had to take that thing out of the pile. Look at this though. Ow. Some kind of bee's nest or something. And while I was digging at it, a fly came flying toward me. I thought it was a bee. Maybe that's not a bee's nest. Maybe it's just mud. I don't know. That's what happens in these country towns is like, there's a lot of dirt and mice and bugs and grime on stuff. Even though it's a really nice, I'm on a real nice street in like a really, like see, you know, kind of like a McMansion type of area, but it's still kind of grubby. See what I'm talking about? I just forgot my own advice. It's so nice. I mean, other than the lawnmower in the background, but it's so nice to be in these types of towns where it's like, you're in the middle of nowhere, it's relaxed, you can just work at your own pace without having to worry about anything, except maybe the other pickers. I would way, way, way rather be doing this than be like at the beach or an art museum or something right now. That's just me though. Taking apart scrap metal on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. It's very satisfying and therapeutic. You should try it sometime. There's that tractor again. Does it have a brand on it? I don't know. It's got the power chain though. See what I was talking about? It's like an ant farm inside this uh, tractor wheel. Can you see that? They're all just coming out of the hole like crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I need a can of Raid or something. That's wild. Look at them go. All right, I sprayed some WD-40 into the hole and that seems to have stopped the exodus of ants. Probably also killed the ants, but... That's all right. So there's your tractor with your ant farm and the wheel. And uh, these fit in the trunk pretty well. Like I can take them further apart if I have to, but I don't think I'm gonna have to. I'm still in the middle of nowhere. And I just got a text from some weird lady about some weird transaction. You ever get that? Anyway, I wanted to see if this thing's a blow mold. Is it? I mean, I guess so. It's kind of like a little more heavier duty than typical blow molds. It's not all Christmassy. It doesn't have a name on it anywhere. Yeah, this is weird, but I guess I'll take it anyway. Is that your thumbnail? Is this thing a blow mold? Yeah, whatever. So, here's my favorite thing to find. You throwing this chain away? Yeah, yeah, take it, take it. Thank you. Here's my, here's my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to find. A giant piece of heavy chain with hooks on the end. Oh my God. It's so heavy. Wow. Crazy what people in the country throw away. Damn. Almost just broke my car on that. Oh, and here's a little thing. Remember that concrete mixer that I took the gears out of yesterday? I just drove by and somebody has it on a trailer. They're taking it. I hope they're not mad that it doesn't have any gears in it anymore. Oops. I wasn't gonna record here because there's folks across the street. Look at this adorable little brass horse hanger. 
I think we should take that off. It's just on the side of a filing cabinet. And then here's a nice blow mold, but he's a little bit cracky crackerson. And then this is the first time I ever saw one of these. Look at this. $39.99. This is in a uh, in a box. I don't know. It's still probably useless. And then here's like this little motorcycle thing. Electric motorcycle. That is a cool looking motorcycle. I bet that'll be gone pretty quickly. So I don't know. Should I take this for scrap? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's out of season, so no one's going to want it as a lawn sprinkler. Well, let me make up my mind, and I'll uh, keep you informed. So I decided to leave the sprinkler for the next guy, but the unicorn is free. Free to fly away to somebody else's bedroom to hold up their clothes, or to go to the scrapyard, whatever. Wow, look at all this fun stuff over here. It's model airplanes. Do we want model airplanes? Gotta be honest. I never really had much success selling uh, these full-size, fully built model airplanes. I think a lot of the time they're uh, just too bulky and cumbersome to really deal with. That looks like a nice little engine though. Is it? You tell me, is that a nice airplane engine? I don't know. Whoa! It's stuck to the thing. And yes, I know, it's not an engine. It's an electrical motor. So the question is, should I tear the motors out of these other ones? Now, nah, leave them for the next person. What else do we have here? Mowing. Wow. It's like a brand new faucet. That's crazy. And a bag full of spices. And an old scanner. All right, so I guess this pile really wasn't all that fun. I mean, the plant, like, look, if you saw that, you'd get so excited. Model planes in the trash. You know, it's exciting, but then you look at it more carefully and you're like, ugh. Check it out. Someone came along and neatened up the pile within like the last 30 seconds. That's spooky. Where's Harvey Spooner when you need him? You got the. The Ding Chang ATV. I don't know, it looks... Looks like it's got some usable parts on there. Shocks and... Tires and stuff. Looks like it's battery operated too. Electric. What do you think? Should I take the Ding Chang? I don't know. I'll uh... I'll dwell on it for a minute, but I'm probably not gonna take the Ding Chang. Check it out. Look at this box, right? It just looks like an ordinary steel box. It says valve on it. But now we pop it open, and it's a box with a secret. This thing flaps down, and the little kitchen drawer comes out. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? I sure haven't. Too bad it's got like six coats of crappy brown paint on it. I don't know. It's kind of a wild box. I'm not sure if I should take it or not, but um, I just wanted to show that to you uh, folks at home. So I feel like we've gotten enough footage today, right? And so what I will do to conclude our video is use my big wrench and take this thing off of here. 
that worked pretty well. What do you think? Am I gonna get lucky with this dumb thing? I'll say that's 0% possibility because this thing wants to rotate. All right, I'm gonna sit on it. Wow, it started. We got it, look at us. Look how smart we are. All right, you wanna do the, um, see if we get lucky a third time. I say zero. This is not gonna work. Wow. This thing's just too, too unstable. All right, I'll try to put the wrench the other way. Hold the camera with the other hand. I'll go down instead of up. Whoa, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Damn. I thought that was gonna just shear off. Sometimes the brass breaks right off. Oops. I was holding the camera sideways. All right, so there you go. A little bit of copper, a little bit of brass, big wrench, and I think it's a great way to end the video. So, appreciate you guys coming along, keeping me company. I think we haven't found that much stuff today, but it has been pretty fun. We got a tractor, some wise men, pink dog, and uh, this beautiful trunk load of stuff. So until next time, thanks so much for watching.